Three years ago, an 18-year-old Baylor student lost her life after a friend's car slammed into a tree on Hickson Pike. Since then, the family filed a lawsuit claiming the state showed negligence in their daughter's death. News Channel 9's Alyssa Sperato joins us now with the family's claim and if a judge agreed. Alyssa. Patricia Kim Shipley Buckner was riding in her best friend's car down Hickson Pike when that friend lost control and slammed into that tree. The lawsuit was sent to Bradley County Court, then ended up in the hands of the Tennessee Claims Commission. They found while most of the blame lies with Buckner's friend Courtney Rhodes, but that state's delay of a guardrail extension also comes into play. To go scuba diving somewhere. Every day, Ralph Buckner spends time in front of this shelf in his Cleveland home. Sitting in the middle is the yellow rose placed on his daughter Shipley's casket, the day the Buckner family said their final goodbyes. 45 miles down the road on Hickson Pike, this cross is painted yellow, Shipley's favorite color. You can see this guardrail, which today goes past the tree where the SUV Shipley rode in crashed. But when the accident happened, the guardrail stopped short by 200 feet. I felt like if the guardrail had been put in correctly and had been long enough and on a curve, you know, I'd like to think my daughter would be with me today. And the Tennessee Claims Commission agrees. This decision shows the State Department of Transportation was scheduled to extend the guardrail before the crash. But because utilities had to be moved and the shoulder extended, the work was put off. That's why we pursued it, because it was actually put in, redone, and, and extended about 50 yards within a week after the accident. The Claims Commission found the state responsible for 37.5% of the fault in the crash. Even though the driver carries more of the blame, Buckner's family still believes a longer guardrail could have saved their daughter. Is it easier? You know, it, uh, it, it, it gets a little better, but uh, you know, I, I'm like anybody else, I'd like to think I have good days and I have bad days, but there's not a day that goes by that I don't miss her or not. The commission also found Buckner was partly at fault in the accident because the judgment states Buckner distracted roads, which in turn could have played a factor in the accident. Now, we did reach out to the Tennessee Department of Transportation, but they're told they were not able to comment. Latricia. Alyssa, thank you.